Okay, hello again. Here we are. This is, it'll continue on with the evaluate. Okay, so I'll do a problem and then I'll give you a problem to do. Okay, this is straight from one of those ACT uh, uh, practice tests. So this is how they say it. If x is minus 2 and y is 3, then, and I think you recognize this and I think you were on the right track. I'm not sure what answer you got. Uh, on the example problem we did the other day, if you got it correct or not, you know, make sure you work these problems all the way through when you're practicing. So I'll write out, and I'm going to go ahead and put brackets here, and brackets here, see if I can get this done in a minute. Uh, so I substitute in, I got 3 times the x value squared minus 5 times the x value times the y value plus the y value squared. And I'll do it without a calculator here. We got uh, minus 2 squared to be 4. So I'll simplify it a step at a time. Uh, minus, it's, 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 this would be minus 5 times minus 6 plus 9. We have 12. Minus times minus is plus, plus 30, plus 9. And we're going to have 42, 51. Okay. And also, you could have just taken this top part and stick it in your calculator, and your calculator will simplify it. Okay? So you can always go back through that if you want to see the step-by-step. -step. And then I would like for you to go ahead and answer this one. And you can write this down in your um, little ACT study journal. Or you could put it also in whatever math journal you're using with Mr. Thomas because I think you'll do this exact same thing if you haven't been doing it already. Okay, thank you Amna and uh, we'll look at this again on Monday. Any questions you have just uh, you can shoot me a WhatsApp or write on the, our little Google Classroom.